Right, thanks so much, Tim. Tonight, a group of Virginia Beach City employees rallied in front of City Hall in support of collective bargaining, but they left disappointed after a failed motion to implement the practice inside council chambers. Five city council members voted in favor, five against, and one abstained. Now, collective bargaining would have allowed workers to unionize in order to negotiate wages, working conditions, and benefits. Marta Berglund was at the meeting and heard from both sides. This was the scene outside Virginia Beach City Hall Tuesday evening, a few hours before City Council struck down a motion that would have allowed collective bargaining for city workers. They deserve not only our gratitude, uh, but also the assurance that their voices will be heard. Hostage taking by unions is going to make whatever problem the department has worse. Council heard public comment from both sides and shared their input before voting. Five council members voted in favor, five against. Dr. Ross Hammond abstained from voting. I wish she had been braver. Kay Flory advocated for collective bargaining at multiple meetings. In a sense, it's a no vote. Jimmy Frost also spoke at a number of meetings on the topic. He's happy the resolution didn't pass. I just don't think that right now in the current economy that we have, collective bargaining, which could lead to higher taxes and fees, would be a good thing for the Virginia Beach taxpayers. City Council members offered up what they called enhanced meet and confer as an alternative. Union leaders say that's not enough. Meet and confer does nothing that we don't already do right now. And in fact, the process they have laid out there just restricts the employees even further. Many people we spoke with on Tuesday night on both sides said they don't think the question of collective bargaining will be gone after this vote. They expect it will be reintroduced down the road. In Virginia Beach, Marta Berglund, 13 News Now. Now, Portsmouth became the first Hampton Roads city to approve collective bargaining in November. Norfolk rejected requests to implement.